Okay, so today I've got this. Now, I did want to do a couple of other videos, unfortunately. Well, life got in the way, didn't it? Oh well. So what I bought recently were two spools of the uh, LED strips. One was 12, one was five. Now the 12 volt one I ordered specifically that didn't come with anything. Um, the five volt one, I couldn't see an option two for the cheapest that I could get my hands on that was basically my preference. And I got this instead, which is the Bluetooth um, adapter. So I haven't installed the app, but when I fire it up, it does its own little thing and I'm really not that interested in using it. So you want to hook these things up to an Arduino instead and do it that way. But um, yeah, so I was kind of curious. What's inside this thing? How about we find out? So I'll go, oops, because I forgot to do something. Oof. What was that? Oh, my light. Always oh, forgetting something. So let's tear it apart, shall we? Well, there is nothing holding that in place. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So the main IC, this thing, has, has either been acid etched or it's been etched off so you can't read it. There's a little component here, which I'm assuming is going to be controlling something to do with voltage. And then you have three, I'm guessing, transistors. There's a crystal oscillator. I'm guessing that's a diode. There is really not much to this, is there? Interesting. VGIR. So it looks like you might be able to modify this board. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So this board will accept IR. This might be a multi purpose controller then. Hmm. So to get a closer look. Perhaps too close. All right, let's see if I can read the components on this thing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks like a drill went over that. <laughs> so, the crystal oscillator. Um, N24.00, so I'm guessing 24 megahertz, CE, and then 4A. We have a seven five three three dash one. EO528P, which looks to be some sort of voltage regulator. Diode is labeled as S4. And then the three, what look to be transistors, uh, X0RB, and then 18. So if I bring this up closer, Is that visible on the camera? That should be. All right. Hopefully that's a good photo. 
Um, yeah, this is, this is actually fascinating to me. So, I guess my next thing is to, when I go through and edit this video, to capture those chips, find out what these uh, transistors are, and then see if I can implement that instead of using the huge ass things that I've got instead. It's a real shame I don't have that oscilloscope set up properly because I could start probing around to figure out, well, how it's sending the signals out, but I'd also have to connect this up to Bluetooth, which I don't have a... Hmm. LED controller. 5 to 24 volts? I wonder if this thing would control the 12 volt ones. Hmm. Interesting. Now, oh, let's put this back together. Oops. But uh, yeah, if you want to take this apart yourself, um, it's really not held that hard together. And if you were using this for some sort of outdoor setting, I definitely wouldn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, that just easily snaps apart, but wow, that there is not much in that. Oh well. So this is labeled H855027-KZQ. Now, in saying all this, I'm not going to list where I bought this from specifically because there are going to be who knows how many other sellers selling this sort of thing. And even if you come across this like five years later, ten years later, they might not even be selling this unit anymore. So providing a link like that is kind of pointless. Also, I do see it kind of pointless requiring an application in order to operate something like this because of, well, yeah, you know, stuff that happens in the future. Having a remote controlled one, yeah, okay, except if the remote blows itself up or dies on you. Although remotes probably won't blow up, but um, yeah, this is, um, hmm. Oh well. That was an interesting little video. Anyway, I'm going to say this one's done. I'm going to say I was very surprised in how quickly this would go through. And yeah. Oh, yibbidi yibbidi.